Hey, what's going on YouTube? JJML TV HD. We out here with the Huawei Mate 20X. And um, yo, two months later, we're going to look into what apps I've got running on my Mate 20X. Um, so let's start off with the most baiting. As you guys can see, we're not running no EMUI launcher here we can't be dealing with them things looking like iphones fam we have got the pixel 3 launcher going down up here so like boom you got obviously you scroll up you got all your app drawer and thing like that looking nice and organized boom swipe to the side you got all your google um news articles and stuff like that kind of like the htc blink feed back in the day um then you got your shortcuts for you know your voice assistant or for your Google search. So that's all cool. Um, and then I've just got some stuff to the side, like my calendar and stuff like that. But um, yeah, guys, it, it has to be Pixel Launcher for me. It has to be. There's no other way I can use the EMUI, bro. EMUI, EMUI is okay. There is an option to, you know, put the apps in the app drawer, but it's just not as smooth a transition as, you know, the Google Pixel 3 Launcher. So yeah, that's what we got running there. Now, we'll start off with the apps we've got running on the phone screen, but I won't go too much in detail with, you know, Google stock apps such as Messages, Gmail and Google Maps because we know what they do. We've seen them all before. But um, let's go in with Spotify. Obviously, done know the done know. That's what we're listening to music on. Um, I don't need to show you Spotify too much because you already know what it is. You guys can see what I've been re recently listening to, though. Um, if you want some inspiration... But yeah, Spotify, dope, works perfectly. Um, you can scroll down and even press something here to save, uh, to switch it straight to offline mode. So if you want to, you know, do some offline listening, you don't want to be streaming, wasting your data, boom, you can do that. Um, also, we've got Discord. Now, Discord is like a kind of Skype you know, chat online game chat client. I don't know what to describe it as. But um, basically, when we're playing on Nintendo Switch or m most other um, game consoles, instead of using the built-in chat system that they've got and, you know, obviously one of the Nintendo Switch, that Nintendo chat, whatever they want to call it, it's very dead, as we all know. So it's very easy to just click onto um, Discord. And look, there's two of my mates are in there already. Let me, let me just try and chat to them. Hey! Oh. Okay, that didn't work. Um, <laughs> but yeah, usually they can hear me and it's all calm. Um, next up, we have got Quick Video Editor. Now, guys, bruv, Quick Video Editor, it's legit. Literally, you just take short little snippets throughout the day or long snippets, whatever you want to take. And the algorithm within the app just creates a little showreel that you can either put onto your Instagram quickly, onto your Twitter, all of your social medias. Um, or you can actually make it into something longer. Um, so, for example, when I went to get some food the other day, I made this little thing here. Um, you know, took look. Why? Is the camera shaking or is it me? <laughs> there we go. You know, it's just... Yeah. It just makes nice little videos. That's what it does. It's nothing crazy, it's nothing complicated, it just makes nice little videos, you know, there you go, boom. Um, and it puts them into 1080p 60 frames per second as well if you want to wait for the extra processing time. Um, and a lot of my videos on YouTube I've actually used the Quick app and it's good for when you're trying to edit on the go and obviously you don't want to sit down with a desktop or a laptop. Um, Waze as well, Waze is my GPS app. Um, yeah, it does jobs. It literally does jobs. I it's got you know speed cameras, um, tells you when there's police. It literally tells you everything you need to know about the road, so you don't get caught. Um, but yeah, Waze is really dope. Um, sometimes it takes you. It goes beyond what it needs to do to actually show you a route. Um, yeah, it does that sometimes. Sometimes you gotta go in between Google Maps and Waze, to be honest. Um, but yeah, you got those there. Um, I won't talk about Any Home and HD Minicam because they're both apps for my home security. Um, and you probably won't use them unless you've got the same home security as me. Um, Power Director. Again, now this is more of a serious, um, you know, video editor. This is more of a sit down with your phone if you've got like an hour or two and kind of make something happen because you've got all the editing tools here um you know you've got cuts paste um rewind time 
um, adding titles, effects, all them things you got here, transitions, bruv, it's a full featured um, video editor on the phone and it takes, it can edit up to, or I think it can process up to 4K 60 frames per second video, which is mad. Um, what have we got on the other side? We've got Google Keep, don't know the Google Keep. Um, <laughs> literally, um, it's just like starting to take your notes on, bruv. I don't think it comes in automatically um you know installed on the phone so i just thought i'd show you guys you can do things like that i won't go too far into that because i know man's got personal details on there um obviously chrome youtube studio is really dope as well for just checking your youtube things and stuff like that um catching up with your comments and everything if you're trying to be you know well if you are um an upcoming youtuber kind of thing or like a small youtuber like myself um you can just check your comments do all them things there do all that youtube stuff and just see your statistics see what's working and see what's not working um what else we got ebay obviously as you know done know the done know um instagram we've got instagram going down works nicely on the phone um you guys know what instagram does already so boy let's keep it moving um what else have we got twitter mm, that also works nicely on the phone um i don't really use twitter that much i'm trying to use it more but i i kind of don't know how twitter works so yeah that's what we got like i got have i got mentions no i don't i think i do but i'll check it in a bit anyway but yeah that's twitter that works nice on the phone as well um youtube obviously um amazon shopping bruv if you're trying to save money don't get this app on your phone bruv this and ebay the two devils bruv the two actual devils um but yeah anyway let's go into what else have we got going on here right in the app drawer now we'll just go line by line um ampere very dope app just to check the um you know how well your phone is being charged by whatever cable and power brick combination you're using um so if you go to like a shop i don't know usually on a holiday and you buy a usb and you're like they're like yeah it's fast charging you can actually plug in into your phone and see how fast it's charging so if you're getting anything above 3000 milliamps when it's charging then you're good but if you're getting something like a hundred um, you know that that cable or the power brick is very dead and you you're not trying to get that um, So yeah, there you go. Uh, what else we got Appy parking Appy parking is dope my boy K He brought me in fam. Let's say you're going to a restaurant now and you're like mmm Fam man's wondering where to park literally like let's uh, I don't know um, Trafalgar Oh, am I even typing let's type Trafalgar uh, square now obviously central london there's nowhere to park but um what this will do is it will show you oh god damn it i've gone back it will show you where you can park in the area kind of thing so it's got red zones that you can never park in um and obviously as it's sunday night you've got lots of parking opportunities here as well um and it's trust me guys if you're trying to plan a journey i'm trying to plan a park when to park it is the app the only app you need going forward fam um what else have we got here let's keep going down burger king app bruv if you're trying to make savings yo burger king has always been too expensive for me um but with this app bruv literally everything is like 199 nine nuggets for 99p six nuggets 99p bruv don't let the um boss man behind the counter tell you that you can only use one voucher at a time. You can use as many as you want. <laughs> but yeah, you don't have to even sign in to use this app. You can literally just click down here at the bottom and go straight in to the vouchers. Alright, what else have we got? CEX, that's for CEX if you're, you know, into the buying the second hand things like myself and reviewing them. Um Decathlon is just for the sports shop that I go to. Depop is a kind of cool little Instagram that meets eBay kind of thing you know you obviously just take pictures of what you're selling um put it on there people can like it comment um send you messages um all sorts of stuff kind of thing in it so yeah it's just instagram it meets ebay um it's like a little marketplace i think they take 10 percent off your sales as well just like ebay does and they also use paypal so you know you're always protected um fluid navigation gestures now i'm not sure if you guys saw the little yellow bits that are coming out the side of the screen when i'm you know doing that um that is how I am, you know, moving around my screen at the moment. So if I scroll up and hold, it will take me to multitasking. If I scroll in from the side, it will take me back to the last app that I was in, um, which is kind of cool. Nice little shortcuts. Um, the phone itself, the Huawei Mate 20, it does come with um, 
you know, navigation gestures, but they don't go beyond um, to do, you know, going back and going to the home screen and, you know, just bringing up the multitasking. This one can also, you know, if you're swiping from the side, you can set off the, you know, voice um, assistant. If you swipe up from the side quickly, you can just set up the search assistant. Um, and I think if you swipe up and hold from the left hand side, I can toggle um, multi screen mode. So, um, yeah, and those are all customizable. You can fully customize anything you want to do. Uh, let me just show you the actions. What happens after? So, you click on a side that you want, and you've got all these actions that you can choose from, kind of thing. Even kill app, um, stuff like that. So, yeah, dope, dope things. Um, fluid navigation gestures. Yeah, definitely try that one. If you try anything today, that is the latest one. Um, and it obviously just gives you the whole screen. You don't have that, you know, whatever bar it's called at the bottom here. Take up the screen. Um, bus checker app. Done know the done know. If you're in London, you're trying to get them young buses. Has to be done, bruv. Has to be done. Um, wait, where is it? Where is it? Where's the local bus stop? There we go. Literally tells you the time because not all bus stops obviously have the time um, screen on them. So, you know, you can just use this, see what time your bus is coming, and you can know whether to walk to the next bus stop or to just keep yourself quiet and be humble. Um, what else we got here? Um, I've got the Nintendo voice chat app here, but I'm not I'm not pleased with it. I thought I would just show you anyway, but I'm, I'm not pleased with it. I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nonsense Nintendo voice chat app um, obviously PayPal I've talked about power director already Google podcasts this is quite lit obviously you search whatever you're interested in and it will just bring up a podcast like obviously I've been searching Nintendo and video games so that's what I've been bringing up but um yeah guys this is my dedicated podcasting app at the moment I know I can use Spotify but I just like to have Spotify for my music, let it chill over there, and then I have this for my podcast and stuff like that. And it's really cool. It just loads into it quickly, shows you all the episodes that you can listen to. Um, yeah, no, nah, it's a cool app. It's a cool app. What else we got going on here? Um, apart from games, got Skype. Um, subscriber, this is a cool app. Now, you may have seen on my home screen that we've got a little widget which shows you your subscribers, and that's essentially what it does. It just lets you... Um, look at a specific YouTube channel and see, you know, what their subscribers are at the moment, what their, um, it gives you quite a bit of information, actually. If you go into their analytics now, um, you can see, you know, how many views they got in the last 30 days, how much money they're making kind of thing. Um, yeah, it's wild. You can do all them things there, all them things. Um, what else, what else? I think that's about it now, isn't it? YouTube Gaming, that that app is dead now. It's, it's died. That, that was the dopest app. Um, the Xeon Smooth Q app. Got Microsoft Word there as well for you to do a little quick type in. That's about it, guys. Oh, yeah. Obviously, Zipcar as well is quite dope. Um, and, oh, I almost forgot. Speed test. Get your internet speed test going, guys. If you need to just double check what the hotel Wi-Fi is saying, what the train Wi-Fi, station Wi-Fi is saying... Connect to it, see if it's better than your 4G. If not, get out, get onto your 4G. If it is, stay on the Wi-Fi and keep it moving kind of thing, innit? But um, yeah, guys, that's all the apps Um, really I wanted to show you for my Huawei Mate 20X so far. Um, You know, I missed out a couple of them, a couple of the bait ones, obviously, like all the Play Store, Google apps. Um, I missed out some of the Huawei apps that are baked into the OS as well because I didn't really use them. Um... You know, you've got some of the social media like Snapchat that I haven't spoken about, uh, which I'm using a lot more often since I copped those Snapchat glasses. Um, yeah, yeah, guys. Nah, it's dope, it's dope. It's all good. But yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe, like, and I will catch you in the next one. Don't know the don't know. J Jamo.